Hey YouTube, I'm Tycon just doing another action figure review. Uh, today is something I've had for a while, um, so it's not exactly new. They have been, uh, well, there's been a bit of kind of controversy over these figures because they were slated to be released and they got delayed and then delayed and then I think some got cancelled and then uh, there weren't wasn't enough um, that it wasn't enough to made to fulfill orders and stuff like that. So what this is, if I bring in the box, it is the Planet Green Valley uh, female body figure. Now these are the blanks. Uh, there was other versions of these figures that had painted applications, and I think they were called Girl of pa uh, Girl of Power, Girl of War, War Girl, or something along those lines. But if I flip around the back of the box. And if I just move my camera up a touch, just so you can see it. So, bear with me a moment. So, there is the box, Planet Green Valley, 118 scale action figure, female body, and then there's a big blurb about 2105 AD, the artist devastated by a year-long quake, causing violent uh, crustal movements, 8.6 billion people died, all that kind of stuff so i'm not going to read out the whole lot um i'll just pause it there or hold on it and you should be able to read it and now there is um what you call it there is websites now i don't know uh how active those are because the this figure was made is there a copyright of when it was made i think this was made at least 2000 I want to say 2019 um, I remember getting it it was on pre-order for ages and then they came in and then the pre-orders kind of dried up and I had pre-ordered this with Big Bad Toy Store I wasn't even sure if it was going to ship and I think I had two pre-ordered at the time and I could only afford one so I went with the blank uh, the kind of fame the female blank blank body so you could customize it and now there is a few paint apps on well i'd say not really paint apps but moldings on the figure so if i bring the figure in so i painted the head on this one it's not the best paint job so the way the head comes on this normally if i just bring it to the camera you see it's just plain skin tone color um there is a dumbbell peg in the neck so you can see how the neck joint works uh, and it's a double joint so there's a joint at the base of the head and then it plugs into the body into the neck itself uh, they do come with uh, some paperwork so for the first part you get this important please read before posing the figure joints are tight and must be gently worn before moving or turning to avoid damaging the figure which is something I generally say for a lot of figure lines like NECA and stuff like that. They heat up the joints before moving them because they tend they can break if they've been shipped. Like in the case for here in Ireland, if it's been shipped overseas, they've been in the bottom of a plane and they've been in cold temperatures. So when you do get them, sometimes there's atmospherics involved. So there is that. And then the other thing you have is again it says heat the heat the joint before it is operated to, with pulling and in searching or when it is too tight to rotate otherwise the joint will be broken for example it can be soaked in hot water or gradually heated with a hair dryer or and warm breeze at the moment it's quite warm over here so the heating if issue isn't too much of a problem heating is needed to in equipment installation and then parts can be put into main body of model um so this gives you a rundown of how modular this figure is so you can see it is designed so that the shoulders arms uh waist all the kind of parts pop off so that you can attach the different accessories that you get with this figure uh all those accessories as i said are unpainted so there is that um the only difference in paint moldings or the plastic moldings is with the skirt um all these tops that come included with the figure so you got this kind of long almost nurse's uniform style top is in white uh 
kind of gummy rubbery plastic same with this low crop top and you have this kind of even shorter uh i don't know what you'd call it so like a short uh I wouldn't say short sleeve because there's no sleeves it's just like a, a different type of top and then the one that's on her almost looks like a sports bra so the figure does come without any of these attached she does have a pair of uh, she does have a skirt she does actually have pants if i just pop the figure apart bear with me a moment so if i remove that this is actually a separate piece this underwear piece which is uh when i put on the figure and just pop it back into place you can see it's it is removable the top piece is removable skirt piece is the only piece that's molded in a different color to the white of the rest of the uniform uh it's done in a blue uh it's supposed to represent i think uh, kind of the schoolgirl um style skirts that they have in japan or the fantasy style schoolgirl sh uh skirt i would imagine legs these um oh yeah when she does come she comes with the shoes unattached they she actually comes with bare feet and these sock pieces um i swapped them out recently just to see how they fit so if i just pop the foot back in the foot goes into this peg and is articulated and see if i can do the other one And kind of bring her down to the base figure. Well, not totally down to the base figure because if I did that, I might get a copyright strike or some sort of uh, thing from YouTube for having naked figures. So the figure comes with these trigger finger hands attached in the box. Uh, it's an up and down uh, hinge and an in and out hinge for the left hand. There is alternate in and out hands with a kind of grip on them with no trigger finger. So you can swap those out if you wish. Uh, as I showed, it does have an alternate head sculpt. So the one that I have on her, the hair is, it, I think the hair part, or the parting in the hair is a little bit more to the side on the uh, unpainted head. As I said, I did paint this head. It's not the best. Um, I've seen people, um, actually, I have recently purchased a second one of these figures and managed to get off eBay and it was, wasn't was overly expensive has, considering how much they go for but it's another one of the blanks but it has a painted face. I'm curious to see if that was pre-painted, factory painted or if it's something that the person selling it had pre-painted it before they got rid of the figure. I am curious about that. So articulation wise, these figures are fairly articulated. So the head is on a ball joint, is on that double ball joint. So it's base and neck and in the head, there is a ab crunch. So you get some waist rotation. There is a lower waist crunch. It doesn't really twist side to side because you're supposed to use the upper one. You have leg splits can do that much. Can kick forward quite a bit not back too much because of the butt um you have a thigh swivel you have dual jointed legs so they can do pretty much 180 you have a hinge and rocker for the ankle single jointed elbow and you have a rotation or a um, hinge on the wrist now the wrist hinge actually has a um kind of a click to it so it has like a ratchet going on with it and the shoulders are on ball joint so they go out up that much and can rotate all the way around so you get quite a range of movement on these so here is a standard gi joe pistol or machine pistol so you can wield that with no problem whatsoever now unfortunately as i said these figures are seemingly hard to get um they do seem to be up on eBay, but the prices on eBay for even just the blank figures are fairly pricey. There is other figures in the line that have 
more militaristic style clothing with uh, pouches, gear, all that kind of stuff. They still kind of harken back to the fantasy schoolgirl look with these skirts and stuff. But they kind of made them more militaristic, which, which it kind of, it kind of reminds me of Battle Royale a bit. That kind of thing. So just to show the size of the figure, bring in the old trusty tape measure. So it does stand just around four inches. And for, there is also peg holes on the bottom of the feet. Now the pegs, the peg holes are quite small on these figures. So if you have the um, Fortnite figure stands, like I'm using for the bases here, some of them have peg holes, but those are bigger than the actual or pegs on them. They're bigger than the holes on the bottom of the feet. They do stand quite well. Unfortunately, just, I keep knocking this one over. Uh, as I said, you can customize the clothing that come, comes with the figure to be different. Uh, you could probably paint it easily enough without it um, being too hard to paint. And for some size comparisons, bring in good old trusty Destro here. This is the 50th anniversary version of Destro as opposed to the retro version, which is the more recent one that was re released. Here is one of the mercenaries from the uh, Jurassic World line. Here is one of the Hyatoys Predators. This is a boar, if I remember correctly. I can just get him to stand with his legs. These guys can be a bit tedious to get standing. So let me just see if I can get him standing. So she is a little bit smaller than one of those Predators, which should be correct. And then for something that I recently reviewed, I'll bring in, if I try not knocking everything over while trying to stand things up. Just get her to stand a little bit better. Here is the female soldier from the Gundam Federation set from Mega House. And you can see they're about the same size maybe the neck is a little bit taller um because this is more anime based and that's more supposed to be more re realistic based but overall not a bad figure and just because i have them here i'll just throw them in here is the higher toys robocop so you have a few different scaling figure scales there um overall good figure if you can get them at reasonable prices and i'm talking about not over the 50 to 100 dollar mark um i do recommend picking one of these up even if it's just the blanks it's very similar to the um uh what's them call it the uh oh not the marauder Ta task force it's, no, everyone's falling over the boss fight studios blanks i think it's more similar to that than the um marauder task force stuff again there's not much gear with this. It's not supposed to be militaristic themed. It's more kind of civilian-esque themed, I would imagine. Be the best way to do it. So you could repaint the uh, the clothing that comes with it to be more civilian. It is a shame that you don't get any kind of different style feet, feet options or le lower leg options. It would be nice if you got like a boot style option that you could take out the lower legs. Because if you look at the instructions, if I just bring them back in there again. You can see the legs are intended to be, you know, removable, that you can look, take out the lower leg and the upper thigh and stuff like that. It is intended to be kind of more customizable, so it would have been nice if they had included something like a boot cut or something, your leg with boots on it. So you had that alternate option, but overall, not a bad figure. Again, just restressing. Price-wise, they are pretty hefty, so... Uh, if you do go after one, just be warned that it could be, well, at the time of this recording, they could, who knows, they might re-release them later on down the line if you're watching this video several months from now. They could re-release them or these things could go even higher in price. So just be wary, these figures can be a bit pricey. And that Predator keeps falling over for some reason. I don't know why. But anywho, uh, I hope you enjoy this video and as I say in my videos please feel free to like comment and subscribe to my channel 
and I hope you enjoy this video. Cheers, guys.